If you are looking for a great place to camp, including beautiful rivers and creeks, the Diamond Fork Campground could be the place for you. This is Video Recon, and we're gonna take you to that campground. Let's check it out. You get there by heading east through Spanish Fork Canyon, about five miles, and then make a left at the turnoff. Head north for another five miles, and it will be on your right. First, we are going to explore Lupa A. These campsites are accessed by making the first right turn after entering the park. The first campsites along the route are primitive walk-in sites. These sites are for tents only. Here we have our camp host for Lupe. If you need firewood, you can buy it from them. These sites allow you to back in a trailer and park a second vehicle. During summer, the trees offer plenty of privacy and the campsites give you a little breathing room from your neighbor. Outhouse facilities are scattered throughout the park. There are no flushing toilets or sinks. There are several double sites. These are double the fee. They allow for two trailers or RVs and two extra vehicles. For more information on parking, check your reservations or ask the camp host. Over on this end of the loop, there are lots of double spaces. To the right by this restroom is a sign with a map of the adventure trail. And this is an educational trail that your kids can take. If you look carefully, you can see paw prints that mark parts of the trail. To the right, there is a great view of the creek, as well as a trail sign. In the distance, you can see one of the nature plaques that tells kids about nature. That wraps our tour of Loop A. Now off we go to loop B.
We start with a creek crossing. These are the walk-in sites for Lower Loop B, right along the creek. This part of the loop is a circle and is right in the middle of a grove of trees. This is the entrance to Upper Loop B, which we will explore in a moment. There aren't many pull throughs but there is plenty of space for backing your trailer into the sights. Here is the other Adventure Trail sign. We will skip ahead to the upper loop entrance. If you like camping in the open, these sites give an unobstructed view of the area. There is not a lot of shade here, so each campsite has a small pavilion. Even the single sites seem to have a wider parking pad than in Loop A. Ahead lies the road to the upper loop walk-in sites. On the back side of this loop, there are just a couple of sites and the outhouse. Now let's check out those walk-in sites. I love this creekside view along the road. These sites offer tons of space from the neighbors and vehicles are not allowed beyond the parking lot. This bridge is a great place to enjoy the view of the creek and take a moment to soak it all in. There are three little tent campsites along this path. Each of them has two tables and a fire pit.
Reserved together, they would make a great little group area. If you really can't stand neighbors, then this last site is for you. It's a nice site tucked between the water and the mountains. That concludes our little tour of the Diamond Campground. We leave you with a flyover of the Upper Loop and a beautiful look at the creek. I highly recommend this place. Subscribe to the channel to support more videos and we will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.